Welcome back to my channel. So uh, I picked up the Profusions Harvest eyeshadow palette, uh, which is this more everyday. It has some deeper tones, but a lot of neutral tones in it. And then the E through eyeshadow palette, which is a more of a color schemed eyeshadow palette. But I think today I'm going to be using the Harvest eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to be creating an easy everyday eyeshadow look. Um, using maybe two, three shades at the most. Um, don't know what I'm going to be creating, uh, but we shall see. So I went ahead and used my Kevin Aquans number seven concealer as my base. So let's go ahead and get started. And I did set my base with setting powder this morning. So I'm going to start out with the wet n wild fluffy this large fluffy brush and let's go ahead and take the shade oak <clears throat> and this is neutral uh, light shade the next to the last shade on the second row I'm just going to pack this shade and I have not used these palettes I've had them for a couple of weeks now but I haven't used them yet so I'm not sure how it's going to perform so I'm just going to take this shade and let's move that back just a little bit and place it right in the crease area and it's closer to this concealer shade which I intentionally put a deeper shade on my lid this morning so it doesn't take as long trying to deepen up that lighter base so I'm gonna add a little bit more right in the crease And add a little bit more to the brush and just um, build it up to your liking. And I like to um, um, build my shadows instead of packing a lot of it on the brush and then on my eyes. So just going to pack a little bit more. And it's a little bit deeper but not too, too much deeper than the concealer that I used. Just going to keep packing it. So now we're going to blend the shade in the crease area. Okay, so and lightly blend the other eye and so and it's actually blending pretty pretty good. So I'm gonna take a little bit more and lightly blend it directly in the crease so I'm liking that so far it's blending pretty pretty good and you just want to take your time and just blend your shadows so next I am going to, I hope that glass not too, too much. <clears throat> I'm getting over some really bad congestion, like really, really bad congestion. I've had like the last three weeks. I have not filmed in like three weeks. The videos I've been opening, um, I had filmed like a month or two ago because I try to keep videos filmed and it's been like really, really bad. So it feels good to be back filming. So next I am going to take the um it don't have like a deeper deep brown in here so i am going to take hmm, let's take the very last shade in the palette and this is like a black shade but it's not like a deep deep black more of like a muted black so we're going to take this shade with the same brush i'm going to tap it off a little bit because i don't know how intense it may be and we're going to pack it right in the outer V area of the eye. And I like to place shades like this instead of going straight in and blending. And I put a little bit more on the brush. And I'm lightly tapping the shade on that outer V area. Now we're going to blend. And I'm going to blend like upwards towards the crease but not all the way 
above the crease area. And I like using large fluffy brushes and stuff, especially when I'm getting ready for work in the morning. That way it's easier to blend and you're not really packing the shadow. And I think that's working pretty, pretty good. Like really, really good. It's not giving me any problems blending these shadows. So I'm just going to continue to lightly blend. Just to make sure they are blended together. So I'm liking that so far. It's really, really light and pretty. So let's continue to diffuse the shadow a little bit more. So that is pretty. So now we're going to go in with a my B, my, not my beach, my Too Faced glitter glue. I told you I wanted it to be like simple, easy, ready to go to work, little to no effort. I should have looked. So I'm going to take my um, glitter glue and now we're going to place it on my ring finger. And I've been loving how I blend it together. And then I'll place it right on the center. And then blend it over the uh, inner corner and up towards the crease. Now I'm not going to put it all the way on my lid this morning because I don't want to cover up that black shade. And the same thing for the other eye. And I like doing my glitter glue this way because it's easier for me to place it and blend it rather than packing it on my lid and trying to diffuse it evenly without my lid being soaking wet with the um, base. So now it is ready for shimmers. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, I'm trying to find my brush, I'm going to take the motor, and it's this fluffy flat brush, let me wipe off my fingers with my makeup wipe, because the glue is sticky, then I'm going to dry it with my makeup wipe, okay, so now we're going to take the brush, and I don't know what shade I want to use for my lid, let's do, hmm, what would be pretty on this? Let's do the, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I still got a little bit, just a little bit left. So let's do, I think I want to use Marigold, and it's the last shimmer shade on the third row. I'm just going to take a little bit of it, and we're going to place it right on top of that glitter glue. Now I like to start at my lash line. Placing it and then slowly um, placing it going up to my crease area where I place the glitter glue. Only because I don't want it to be packed right in, a, in my crease area or right on that center of my lid. And you can kind of work it how you want to work it that way without having to fight with it and get it to blend once you set it on that glitter glue. So I'm going to take the same amount for the other eye, start it right there on that lash line, and blend upwards the place. Not blend, I'm sorry. Pack it upwards lightly. Again, this allows me to control how much I place on the lid without going into the crease. Having to try to um, blend it out and diffuse it. <clears throat> I'm sorry again. Y'all forgive me if I keep doing that. But I'm feeling much better than I was the last couple of weeks. So we're going to continue to place it and lightly pack it. This is a pretty shade though. It's like a gold brownish mixture shade. And now I'm just making sure 
is packed evenly and I'm using the tip of the brush to pack and place it in the crease area. I like that. So now I'm going to take my finger with the same shade, my ring finger, and just make sure it's packed evenly with my finger. And it gives it that additional coverage and fill in any of the gaps that the brush missed. So I've been liking doing that technique. Because like I said, it gives you a better control of the shimmers. So I'm doing the same thing with the other eye using my ring finger. And I like to use the tip of my ring finger when I'm going up towards the crease area. So that is like so pretty. I like it. So now I'm going to go back in with the um, Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to wipe it off on my makeup round. And we're going to blend the outer V shade and the crease shade together. And just make sure they're blended like really, really well together. So now I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the shade, the first shade oak that we started with. And make sure it's still in that crease area. Focusing most of it towards the outer part of the crease and blending the rest going inwards. Same thing for this eye. So now we're going to take a little bit more of the black, which is the last shade in the palette, and lightly tap it back into that outer V area. And you don't want to use a whole lot of it. And then we're going to wipe it off because I don't want it to be too, too intense. And then lightly blend in the out of the area. Making sure it's blended with your shimmer shade. And that completes the eyeshadow look. I like it. So now I'm going to take my makeup wipe with my micellar water on it and clean up under the eye area. And I like doing this because um, it gives me that sharp, clean look when I use my finger and I wrap the wipe around my finger to do the cleanup. So now we're going to take the other side and make sure everything else is nice and clean where I carved out my brows with the concealer. And I am loving this look. So now I'm going to go in with this small... Uh, blending brush by Lurella and just make sure the shadows are blended together without that big fluffy brush and go back into my crease area but I'm not adding any more shadows to my lid just blending making sure all of my colors are transitioned together so that is perfect so now I'm going to go off camera, do my norm, apply my rest of my face, my lashes, my liner, and now I'll back to show you guys my final look. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back. This is the final look, and I love how the entire look came together. Um, again, I used the Profusions Harvest eyeshadow palette, and the shades that I used performed like really, really good with no issues. Now, I did not apply any more shadows to my lid but I love that gold greenish sparkle on my lids really really pretty so if you have this palette let me know your thoughts on it I do like it if you pick it up and I definitely want to 
use the eat the real did I say that right? I don't know. Because <laughs> I will put you some stuff on the more colorful eyeshadow palette. I'll definitely be using that one. But I do like this one. I can see myself using this one more. Um, especially with this easy three eyeshadow look I came up with that did not take any time to do. I absolutely love how it performed. Um, to finish the rest of my face, um, for my foundations today, I mixed a little bit of my um, L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 470 I mixed it with my Becca bamboo and a little bit of the revolution conceal and hydrate in the shade 9.5 to get this nice shade that matches my skin tone so I do a lot of mixing my foundations so I did mix those three together um, for my bronzer today I used the Juvia's Place Tan Bronzer and I used both shades to bronze my face with. For my blush today, I used the BH Cosmetics Chocolate Orange Truffle, the four um, blush palette. And I used the bottom two shades in the palette. Um, for my highlighting today, I used my Ofra's Rodeo Dry. This has been like one of my favorite um, go to highlighters. I popped a little bit in my inner corner um, and that's about it. I did not do my brow bone. Um, my lashes. I use the Amazon lashes and it's the green pack and I'm going to drop this in the description box below. I don't know what brand it is but I'll look on my cart and add it and it is actually 12 pairs and it just says DM944 eyelash. And it's the style of the green pack. I love these. They're really, really nice everyday lashes. They're really, really light. You can't even tell they're on your eyes. And they do not irritate at all. Um, to For my lips, I used my ColourPop. No, it's not ColourPop. Ulta's Lip Liner in the shade. <laughs> I don't see the shade name. Raspberry. This Mavi shade pencil. And I topped it with my Urban Decay's, I think it's 24 karat gold or something like that. I don't see the name on it. But it's this high shine gloss that looks like this. It came out a while back, but it's the Urban Decay. It's this gold reflect um, high shine gloss. And I think it really paired really, really well with this lip liner. So that is all I did to finish my face. Again, like I said, I love how this look turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Using the eyeshadow palette, simple, everyday, nice, easy look. You can use any color shimmer you want, but that was all I did for this look today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.